Hey guys, today we are at Pottery Barn and I am going to share with you how I walk through Pottery Barn for inspiration before I go thrifting. Now, I picked Pottery Barn because they have an upscale look and their style is classic and I think their style can fit into a lot of design aesthetics. So one thing that I really love about Pottery Barn is their table settings. They are always classic and elegant. So I like to study their tablescapes to see how I can achieve their look. And one thing that I noticed is that they use a lot of white or neutral dishes. Now their dishes can be a little pricey for my budget. So I typically look at the style and the shape and then I try and find those similar styles maybe at Walmart or even when I'm out thrifting. Now one thing that I will splurge on is um, the napkins or the napkin rings. But I will always look for these items in the clearance section first. And I have found many napkins in the Goodwill, some even brand new. I also think that the flatware makes a big difference in your table setting as well and you will be surprised at the selections you can find at Walmart and sometimes I found nice flatware thrifting. And I always love to take a look at the seasonal decor as well. Now who doesn't like to look at throws and pillows? Now every now and again I will purchase a pillow or a throw from Pottery Barn, but for the most part I like to scan the wall of pillows and throws to see the colors and the textures and the different patterns. I also like to pay close attention to how they are mixing their patterns and colors.
Now, if you've watched my channel long enough, you guys know that I love candles. Now, when it comes to Pottery Barn's candles and their candlesticks, they have many classic styles and finishes to choose from. And many of these styles are sitting right there in Goodwill. You just may have to tweak them a little bit, spray paint, or change the color somehow to fit into your decor. And you may even find some of these candles and candlesticks at your garage sale. I know I have found many Pottery Barn candlesticks and um, candles while out garage sale shopping. But you guys must remember, I told you that when you're looking for high-end merchandise while you're out thrifting, you must go into the neighborhoods where the homes are in the higher price bracket. Now when it comes to their florals and their greenery, they are definitely my go-to for a classic look. I love the way that they place the long stems in simple glass containers. So these are the types of flowers that I typically look for while I'm out thrifting. Now, I mentioned in another video that I am using more succulents this year, inside and out. And as you can see, succulents and air plants are definitely on trend this year. And another thing about Pottery Barn, their faux plants are on point because they look so much like real plants is for me it's hard to tell and I didn't even know that the ficus plant was still in but apparently it is and so I also like to look for um, pottery while I'm out thrifting and I get lots of ideas while I'm in Pottery Barn touring through their um, plant and pottery section. And pottery is very big right now and all different types of um, like urns and clay pots are very much trending. And so another thing that I like to look for are lamps. Now, the lamps, I, I like to look at the different shapes and the different sizes that they have. And so while I'm out, if I see something, um, I can have a vision as to what it may look like already, you know, already made over. So these are just a few of my tips on how I prepare myself before I head out thrifting. And I like to take a trip to Pottery Barn, say the night before I go out thrifting so that these ideas are fresh in my mind. 
So that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye-bye.